I'm your host Mike St. Clair with Viper RIP and today I'm going to be sharing some tips for building your own V-Scope ghost detector and I'm going to answer some questions you guys have submitted including how to get the V-Scope into the black box, how the toggle switch works, and how to run more than one circuit off of a single battery. Now if you don't know what the V-Scope is, I encourage you to check out my video titled The One Dollar Ghost Detector. I'm going to include a link to that in the description. It's going to tell you what the V-Scope is, how it works, and it's going to even show you how to build it. My intentions were to build an easy, inexpensive, and reliable alternative to a piece of equipment that would normally cost over $100, and that's exactly what I did. In that video, I show you how to build a simple electroscope circuit, which is really the brain of the entire device. And from that point, it's really up to your imagination. You can make it as simple or as complex as you would like. Now, a lot of people were able to follow the design and build their own V-scopes, and they looked great. Some people got so good at it that they decided they were going to make some and sell them on eBay and Amazon. Now, I'm not mad because I didn't invent the electroscope. But I did design and name the V-scope, and V-scope is short for Viperscope. So all I'm saying is, if someone's going to take someone else's idea and name for the purposes of making money without asking permission, the least they could do is credit the proper designer and quit letting everyone think that they come up with the idea on their own. Now, not everyone was so successful. I got a lot of questions and emails and comments. Mike, I was able to build the electroscope, but how do I get it into the box? How do I run more than one transistor and circuit to a single battery? And how does that toggle switch work? Well, here in just a second, we're going to open up the V-Scope. We're going to look inside. I'm going to show you how everything goes together. And hopefully, we're going to answer your questions so you can build your own V-Scope. Okay, guys, this is the V-Scope. Here at the top, we have our two LEDs and I've simply drilled holes to fit those through and we have our two antennas and I've drilled holes to fit those through as well now attached to those antennas I have a couple of alligator clips and I do that to give you a, a little bit broader range and it, it's going to reach further it, and pick up static charges much further away now you don't have to have those but I do recommend them and on the side here of course we have our toggle switch that turns it off and on so what we're going to do is take off our alligator clips and we're going to open this unit up now, we flip it over, and you're going to find four screws here. We've already taken those out to save time. We're going to pop the back off and expose the inside, and this is what it looks like. Now, here at the bottom, we have our battery, just a standard 9-volt battery. Um, these do not burn up batteries, so you could even use a cheap one, as you see I have here. And I've just got it clipped in and, and Velcroed to the bottom of the box. Now, this is our toggle switch, and the way this works... When you take your 9 volt adapter, obviously you don't want to do this while it's connected, you're going to run the positive of it to one side of the toggle, and then the other side of the toggle, you're going to have another wire comes out, and it's going to go to the corresponding positive part on your transistors. Now, as you can see, I have both of the transistors up here. I've got the positive and the negative, and they're both running off of a single battery. Now, here's how this is done. What I did was went ahead and built both of the circuits and then I took a piece of metal, bring it a little closer so you guys can see that, and I soldered each one of those to that piece of metal. And from that point, I've turned these two individual circuits into one. Now I went ahead and done the same thing with the LED side. I basically took a little piece of metal and I soldered it both ends to that to create the, the one single circuit. And as you can see, this is our negative wire. It's running from the LED portion down to the negative part of our battery. And it's it's pretty simple. Once you build the the individual circuits and you look at this, you shouldn't have any problem connecting those two together. And it's a very effective tool. It's basically an alternative for the EPOD, if you've ever heard of that, the EPOD. It's also another electroscope that uh, runs you about a hundred bucks, give or take a little. Now you can build this particular unit for about seven bucks, including the box and everything. Of course, if you don't have solder and a soldering iron, you would have to buy one of those. But the individual parts are very, very inexpensive, and you can build the circuits for about a buck if you don't want to go through the trouble of putting it in the box. But this is the V-Scope, guys. This is the inside of it. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys are able to use this to build your own V-Scope, and hope you guys enjoy. Well, that's the V-Scope, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the tips and hints were helpful, and I hope now you're able to build your own V-Scope. And if you do, I want to see it. So shoot some video of it, 
around your house or using it on an investigation and post it as a response to this video because I want to check it out and I'm sure everybody else wants to check it out as well. So I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe for more Ghost Hunting 101, budget ghost hunting, ghost hunting tutorials, and everything paranormal.